This is Local Edition. Brad Pomerantz here in San Diego County, joined by April Bowling. She is the chair of the No on C campaign. We'll tell you what C is in a moment. Of course, we know the NFL is big business and the Chargers are San Diego's team. But there are challenges related to the stadium that the Chargers use. Tell us a bit about Qualcomm and the challenges facing Qualcomm. Yeah, Qualcomm is in an area called Mission Valley in San Diego, which is not in the downtown area. Um, and that is where the Chargers currently play is in Qualcomm Stadium. And there's, um, you know, tr uh, transportation that right. goes to it. It's kind of right in close to a freeway, et cetera. Mm -hmm. um, what the proposal is, Proposition C is that, or Measure C, mm -hmm. is that there would be constructed downtown a new um, facility that would be a combination of a football stadium and a convention center. And let's explain now, if yeah, we can. Because we already have a convention center in San Diego, beautiful big convention center um, right on the water. It is not large enough. And it, Comic Con and other of the big conventions would really like to see that made larger. But what they want is an on site expansion to accommodate that. What is being proposed with Measure C is what is called a, an annex, mm -hmm. which is you know, a little bit less than a mile away with the notion that people are going to sort of walk over there. Um, a mile? You know, well, seven-tenths of a mile. Seven-tenths uh, of a mile? Uh, yeah, that, <laughs> anyway, that, that's part yeah, that's of another conversation. Yeah, right. that, that's another part well, of the conversation. Petco? But um, Petco Park is in the downtown area, and, of course, it's a ballpark, so it's a much smaller facility than what this stadium convention center annex would be and has done a lot to rejuvenate the downtown area. And so would the stadium be next to Petco, next to the convention center, next to the annex? Well, the new stadium and the annex would be together. I mean, that's why it's called a convadium, is I because it. it's all going to mm -hmm. be one, one function. And it's not right next to um, Petco, but it's fairly close in that downtown area. It is close enough that it is stealing the parking, if you will, mm. from Petco, and that is one of the problems with Prop C. Yeah, and so let's talk about your yeah. concerns yeah. with Prop C, or Measure C. As Measure C. As I understand it, let's talk about the revenue element right. of it, please. Yeah, the, um, what, what Measure C is really doing is raising our transient occupancy tax, right. which is the hotel T -T. tax from 10.5% to 16.5%, which is the largest tax increase we've ever seen in San Diego. That money is supposed to be used to partially pay for this $1.8 billion new facility. It's $1.8 billion, about a billion of it is the stadium, and about $800 million is the convention center annex. Is, so, are the chargers and or the NFL they are, they are under measure C. If they, it passes, under, under measure C, if it passes, the Chargers are putting up three hundred and fifty million. The NFL is putting up three hundred million. So that's six fifty out of the one point eight. So mm. that difference, the one point one five, is what is going to be paid for using the transient occupancy tax. But Please. I would like to point out that the three hundred and fifty million that the Spanos family is putting the up, owners of the Chargers, the owners of the Chargers, they maintain the naming rights and also the PSCs and PSCs so are. The, the, the personal seating um, licenses, mm -hmm. if you will. And we believe that it is very possible that they are going to get more than $350 million from the sale of that. So they're really not out anything. But since they put together the measure, they gave themselves the rights to the naming rights and the PSCs. And so I mean, that's kind of their piece right. in I, rather than the city. I could envision a formula whereby if the city is contributing, it sounds like about 60%, NFL, I don't know, 20 and Spanos 20, maybe the city could get 60% of the naming rights, no? Well, how about the city gets all of the naming rights? Oh, I mean, it, you yeah. know, There's it, a lot it, of ways it, to look there, at There are very, a lot of different ways that this could be looked at. Um, but anyway, the way it is in Measure C well is that um, Span Spanos is getting all of the revenue from the rent naming rights and the PSCs, and that he can use to do his part of the 350. What Mr. Spanos, or I should say the proponents of Measure C, are saying is San Diego residents shouldn't care because, look, it's the hotel guests that are paying. It's not an increased tax on us, the hotel guests. What San Diegans care about a lot is our tourism economy. Mm -hmm. And... I think San Diegans understand that tourism is a big piece of what makes everything run. That's where the money comes from to do roads and police and parks and all of those kinds of things. 
if we raise the TOT to a point that the convention attendees say, you know what, too much. You and know, do you believe, April, that going from 10 and a half to 16 and a half is breaking a threshold that could start to scare away business? Yes, I absolutely do. I absolutely do. As former chair of the Convention Center Corporation, mm -hmm. I mean, we know, you know who our <laughs> okay. clients are. And what, what's and, the and average? And the thing is that, the, that these, these attendees that come in, many of them come in on a fixed budget. Now, some conventions have high-end attendees and they don't really care. I mean, they're willing to pay, you know, whatever for a hotel and whatever mm -hmm. TOT. But many conventions have people coming in on a budget. So they come into town with a certain amount to pay. Our hotel rooms are expensive. Um, you know, it's San Diego. Mm -hmm. Transportation is expensive. Um, you know, food is expensive, especially if you're in the downtown area. All of that, and on top of that, you're going to now bump up this transient occupancy tax at some point they're going to say to their convention organizer, we love San Diego, but take us something. Mm -hmm. Because I would really like to be able to eat out every night that I'm here for the convention and not have to be in my room eating out, you know, I, eating in one night. I have to and ask I, you so. about Comic-Con. What a crown jewel yes. for the city of San Diego. Yes. I can promise you Miami, New York, LA, very jealous of San Diego for getting yes. Comic-Con. How would, in your mind, Measure C's passage impact Comic-Con, if at all? Well, what Comic-Con wants, and they've been very, very clear about it, is an expansion of the existing convention center. They need a larger facility, okay. but it needs to be right attached to the existing convention 0. center. 0.7 miles isn't yeah, good enough. A little, well, I mean, you think about it, you know, who's, you know, what I, exhibits I are gonna it. be one I place and what are gonna be down there? I mean, mm -hmm. who's sort of the B-level exhibit who wants to be over in that facility? And you know, the other problem with that convention center annex is that never mind Comic-Con, if you set that aside for a moment, the kinds of conventions and trade shows that are going to be in there are the same ones that are currently downtown already in the hotels. So now wow. you are going to have this city facility competing with private enterprise wow. for those smaller, you know, the palms, the mitzvahs, yeah, the smaller area. trade shows and it. all of that. It really, you know, it's, it's like the worst thing that you could do. You don't have it you know, attached and it's competing. Not Let's a good deal. Let's talk about the Chargers, though, because I would presume that April Bowling would like the Chargers to stay. I Is would that love, fair? I absolutely right. want the Chargers to stay. I think it's important for the fabric of a city right. to have, you know, a city yeah. the size I mean, of look San at Los Diego. Angeles. Yeah. I mean, they didn't have a, a football team for 20 years, and it was as if the city was in mourning. Yeah. So, I mean, they had college, yeah. but no, they of finally course. got the Rams back. So let's presume C failed. What then? Because I think that's what's the concern of San Diego. Is it, what then? It is, and the proponents will tell you that, oh, you know, if this fails, the Chargers just leave. They'll go to L.A. No, no, <laughs> they're just going to go. And what I believe is, first of all, many of the opponents of Proposition or Measure C right. are big Chargers fans, season ticket holders. Right. We would all like to see the Chargers stay. If, as a result of the failure of Measure C, they end up going to Los Angeles. I believe it's because they wanted to go to Los Angeles mm -hmm. and they're using us as an excuse because there is no reason why we could not do this in a much more coordinated fashion. This should never have been just, you know, Spanos and the team deciding that they were going to put a measure. You know, there needs to be discussion with the city. The, the Padres need to be part of this discussion because it's shared parking areas. Um, there's just a lot of people that need to be involved, and we need to come up with a deal that actually is good for San Diego, not just good for the owner. Will you come back after the election? I want to talk to you because I want to see what happens. You know, regardless of right. whether it passes or fails, I'd love to get your viewpoint. Um, I would love to love to. Great. Right. Her name is April Bowling. She is the chair of No On C in San Diego County, my, or San Diego City. City. My name is Brad Pomerantz. This is Local Edition. Great job. Okay. Thank you so Thank much. You.